are diving into the world of audio with the Beat Studio Buds from 2021. Are they worth it? So let's find out. All right, today I will be unboxing Beat Studio Buds 20, from 2021. So first there's a bull tab, as usual on products made with Apple or by Apple. So I'm pretty much assuming that it goes on like that. Pour this out. And then the box is empty after that. Now there's this fast fuel, which the charging says in five minutes, you get up to one hour of charging. And of course you have this, which is now paired with great music. A couple of these, ooh, beat sticker. And a bunch of other things. And also in this little compartment over here, I accidentally took that off. But in this compartment is where all the ear caps go. I'll be taking to great lengths to make sure that I keep those. Then, time for the earbuds themselves. I'm going to pull off. Sorry for that. And now, it says pair keep earbuds in case with lid open. Now, let's get started. Battery life is a respectable eight hours of playback and 24 hours with the case. However, with the lack of the H1 chip, which means some of the features that Apple users are missing, but are but pair easily with both Apple and Android devices, especially with the first set with the fast setup by just by opening the case and putting your phone next to it is all that you need for setup. Now, on that note, battery life is not completely precise. Battery life varies by noise canceling, ambient sound mode, or just no noise control at all. It also varies by how long you've been using it and what things are you're listening to. If you're listening to some jams with really deep bass and stuff like that, like you're, it's really thumping, it might drain the battery life a little bit more than some lighter songs. So it's not completely accurate, but I'm guessing it's an average round it off. Now, it says, so the, so the Beat Studio Buds 2021, worth it? If you are looking for great sound, mid-range, ANC and ambient sound mode, comfort, and without breaking the bank, these, they're, these are a solid choice. They're not perfect in any way, especially that noise canceling, but they offer a really great value for the price. These have stepped up their game with sound quality. The audio is lively with a balanced emphasis on highs and lows. They also support Apple Spatial Audio with Dolby Atoms, which is a game changer for immersive listening experiences. But you will also find that Apple Spatial Audio isn't a massive change compared to earbuds that don't. Like Order Beats, they don't have Apple Spatial Audio, but they the only thing that Spatial Audio adds is an like almost three D sound in a way, like. If this microphone was 3D on the phone, you'd be able to tell that I'm at least three or four feet away from you. Now, the noise cancellation isn't class leading, but it does a semi good job at what it does. You might find it lacking compared to some of the more expensive ones, but it is a solid feature for the price of these beats. And I'm guessing the reasoning is like, as the name suggests, which is just a theory, that these, in fact, are meant for a studio. But that's just a theory. A technology theory. And bye bye, Matt Pat. I guess we'll see you later. And technically, he will be seen later in different videos. But see you later, Matt Pat. And thanks for ruining some people's childhood. Theories really are interesting, especially for MatPat, because they, they do make a fairly good point.